ever wondered if Hollywood's portrayal of space is as accurate as it seems? Stick around, because today we're diving into the top 10 space myths Hollywood made us believe. From mind-boggling explosions in the vacuum of space to the overly dramatic sound effects of meteor showers, the film industry loves to spice up its space adventures. But what if I told you most of what we've seen is far from reality? Join us as we debunk these common misconceptions and reveal the truth about space that movies often get hilariously wrong. You won't want to miss the surprising facts we have in store. Let's get started. Myth number one, sound in space. Hollywood often adds explosive sound effects and dramatic noises to space scenes, giving us the impression that space is full of thrilling auditory experiences. However, the truth is far less noisy. Space is a vast vacuum, which means there are no air molecules to carry sound waves. Sound relies on a medium like air or water to travel. Without it, explosions and laser blasts would be eerily silent. Remember those epic battles in Star Wars or the booming thrusters in Star Trek? In reality, these scenes would be accompanied by nothing more than the hum of the spaceship's internal mechanisms, if that. While it might make for less exciting cinema, the silence of space is scientifically accurate. So next time you see a space movie with booming explosions, you'll know that the silence of space has been replaced by Hollywood magic. The second myth involves laser blasters and space battles. Hollywood loves to depict starship dogfights with colorful laser beams zipping across the cosmos, but the reality is quite different. In space, laser beams wouldn't be visible like they are in movies. Lasers are beams of concentrated light, and for us to see light, it usually needs to scatter off particles like dust or air molecules. Since space is a near-perfect vacuum with few particles, those dazzling laser beams would actually be invisible. Moreover, space combat itself would be nothing like the high-speed chases and barrel rolls we see on screen. In the vacuum of space, there is no air resistance, so spacecraft wouldn't maneuver with the same agility as fighter jets in Earth's atmosphere. Also, any real space battle would likely be over vast distances, making it more about precision and long-range targeting rather than close-up dogfights. The flashy explosions and dramatic pew-pews make for thrilling entertainment, but in a real cosmic showdown, the action would be far less visually stimulating and more about strategy and advanced technology. So the next time you watch an epic space battle unfold on the big screen, remember that actual space combat wouldn't have the same visual peats as Hollywood loves to showcase. The third myth involves instant human freezing. Hollywood often shows astronauts freezing solid in seconds when exposed to the vacuum of space. However, the reality is much different. If a human were suddenly exposed to space without a suit, they wouldn't turn into a popsicle right away. Space is indeed cold, but the process of freezing is far from instant. In the vacuum of space, there's no air, which means there isn't any medium to conduct heat away rapidly. Instead, heat loss would occur primarily through radiation, which is a slower process. The more immediate danger would be the lack of air pressure, causing bodily fluids to boil and vaporize. This phenomenon is known as ebullism, and it can cause significant swelling and severe damage. Additionally, without oxygen, a person would lose consciousness within 15 seconds and would not survive beyond a couple of minutes. While it's a chilling thought, it's not the quick freeze portrayed in movies. The actual risks are related to suffocation and depressurization rather than freezing solid. So the next time you see a character instantly frozen in space, remember that Hollywood has taken some creative liberties with the science. The fourth myth involves navigating through asteroid fields. We've all seen the thrilling scenes where daring pilots maneuver their spacecraft through densely packed asteroid fields, narrowly avoiding collisions with massive rocks. Hollywood certainly makes it look like asteroid belts are jam-packed with obstacles. However, the reality is much less dramatic. Actual asteroid belts like the one between Mars and Jupiter are far more sparsely populated than movies suggest. In fact, the average distance between asteroids in our solar system's asteroid belt is about 600,000 miles. That's more than twice the distance between the Earth and the Moon. 
this means that the likelihood of encountering an asteroid, let alone a dense cluster of them, is extremely low. Spacecraft navigating through these regions would have a lot of open space to work with, making those hair-raising dodges and sharp turns mostly unnecessary. So while it makes for a suspenseful and heart-pounding cinematic experience, the reality of traversing an asteroid field would likely be a rather uneventful journey. Next time you watch a spaceship weaving through a chaotic asteroid belt, remember that actual space travel through such regions would be a much calmer and less hazardous affair. The fifth myth involves planetary landings and gravity. Hollywood often simplifies the complexities of gravity when depicting landings on different planets. In many movies, characters leap around with ease or spacecraft touch down without much trouble, no matter what planet they're on. The reality, however, is far more complex. Each celestial body has its own gravitational pull, which impacts how objects and people move. For example, the gravity on Mars is about 38% of Earth's gravity, which means you'd feel lighter and be able to jump higher, but you wouldn't float around like you're on the moon. Speaking of the moon, its gravity is only 16% of Earth's, which is why astronauts were able to make those iconic slow-motion leaps. But imagine trying to land a spacecraft on a body with much stronger gravity, like Jupiter. Although Jupiter is a gas giant and doesn't have a solid surface to land on, its gravity is more than twice as strong as Earth's. A spacecraft trying to approach would have to deal with immense gravitational forces, making landing virtually impossible. Even on smaller celestial bodies like asteroids or moons with very low gravity, managing to land and stay anchored poses significant challenges. Spacecraft could easily bounce or drift away if not properly secured. Hollywood often glosses over these nuances, but in reality, the varying gravitational forces on different planets and moons would have a major impact on both landings and human movement. So the next time you see an effortless planetary landing or people moving around as if gravity is just a minor inconvenience, remember that the actual science involves far more complexity and difficulty. Wrapping up our journey through Hollywood space myths, isn't it fascinating how the silver screen can transform the silent, vast and often invisible aspects of space into thrilling spectacles? While these myths certainly make for great entertainment, the reality of space is even more intriguing and awe-inspiring. From the eerie silence of the void to the invisible laser battles, and from the gradual freezing in space to the calm navigation through asteroid fields, the actual science behind these Hollywood embellishments reveals a cosmos that's complex and wondrous in ways that often surpass fiction. As we debunk these common misconceptions, it's clear that space with all its mysterious beauty and daunting challenges offers endless opportunities for discovery and exploration. So while we enjoy the creativity and drama of space movies, let's also take a moment to appreciate the incredible reality of space science and the tireless efforts of those who continue to explore the final frontier. If you enjoyed busting these myths and learning about the true nature of space, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell to never miss out on our next cosmic adventure. Thanks for watching and keep looking up at the stars.